remind me to never go to prison because you never know if a serial killer is trying to go after you despite the fact that you're already locked up hey everyone this is rabbit's blog and welcome to my in theater movie review series so today's movie i'll be reviewing today is the netflix spanish film below zero and before i get into my thoughts about this movie here are a few words for the channel all right everybody it's time to get on the social media train want to chat with me in a hundred words or less then check out my twitter account want to talk about movies tv shows and video games within the group then check out my facebook account want to check out some of my ultra cool fan art then check out my deviant art page want to get the lowdown everything that's happening on this channel then check all of the above and now we return to our regularly scheduled program so the movie starts off with a cop named Martin who ends up getting a job in transporting a group of criminals. But as they go on their destination to transport the group of criminals, it turns out that the truck that the criminals were in ends up being sabotaged and Martin's the only surviving cop of the whole ambush. So Martin spends the film trying to endure the icy temperatures that plague the countryside while trying to avoid getting killed by the other convicts. So here we are. This is my first film that I have reviewed for 2021. In terms of this is the first film that was released in 2021 that I have reviewed. It's also the first film I reviewed that's an international film. And I usually like watching international films because I like to know more about the culture of that country. And in this case, this film is in Spanish, so I appreciated that just learning more about the culture. And it's great to be able to review international films every once in a while. So what are my thoughts about this particular film? I really enjoyed it. It was really intense and it was really exciting at the same time. Like I was literally sitting on the edge of my seat wondering if Martin was going to get out of this situation alive. Not only does he have to deal with a serial killer that's trying to kill him and the other prisoners, but he has to deal with the prisoners themselves who want to kill Martin just to escape from their situation. And I was wondering to myself, you know, what happens if I got in the same situation as Martin? Would I be killed on the spot when I have to deal with a lot of prisoners? Or do I try my hardest to try to survive this terrible situation? And I really love the fact that throughout the film, Martin is shown as a character who's willing to do whatever it takes to survive. He even makes some friends with the prisoners, which I thought was really great. So I like the interactions that Martin has with the prisoners, as well as trying to stay alive during this whole situation. And the fact that he has to deal with the cold weather at the same time was really interesting and unique to me. Because even though I've seen a lot of prison movies where the cop is trying to deal with a prison riot, it's rare that I've seen a film that takes place during the winter time and you have the main character trying to deal with freezing to death as well. So I thought that was really interesting for this film. Another thing I liked about this film were the performances themselves. Now, I did watch the English dub of this version, so I didn't watch the original Spanish version, but the performances in the English dub were very well done. The dialogue never really felt stilted, and it actually felt like the dialogue that the characters were saying in the English dub actually fits well with the dialogue that was being spoken in the original Spanish dub. So I like the fact that the film was trying to stay faithful to the original Spanish dub of the film, while it's still having a very standout performance from the English voice cast. Now, if there were some problems that I have with this film, is that I felt like they could have developed the characters a little better. Like, we know a little bit about Martin himself. We know that he has a wife and kids, and we know that he's new to this job, but we don't know much about the prisoners themselves. I would have liked to learn more about the prisoners that Martin ends up with in this film, as they seem like very interesting characters, and they seem like they have pasts where they're like, they used to be good people or something like that, but then something happened that made them turn into criminals. So I would have liked to learn more about the criminals and how they got into the situations they got into in the first place because it felt like they were flat characters for the most part like they were just there because it's a prison movie it's about prisoners so let's just introduce these prisoners and not give them any depth whatsoever another problem that I have with this film is that the plot may be a bit too generic like I've seen a lot of prison films like this one before where the prisoners try to break out and the cop is trying everything he can to make sure the prisoners don't kill him or don't break out so I've seen a lot of films like that and this film is no different in that regard Regards. but despite that I still find the tension to be really entertaining and I can't help but be really interested in this film despite the fact that the plot is something that I've seen like a million times so overall I give below zero a watch it <laughs> 
So if you're into prison movies or you like to watch international films in general, I definitely recommend you check out Below Zero. It's really intense and it's really action packed. So if you like films that are action packed, I definitely recommend Below Zero. So that's my review on Below Zero and tell me in the comments down below. Have you seen Below Zero? And if you have, did you enjoy the film? Did you hate the film? And what were some of your favorite international films? Please feel free to tell me in the comments down below. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Rowdy's Blog and I'll see you guys later. So you guys may have noticed I'm actually wearing a different t-shirt for today. That's right, this t-shirt I actually created with my own hands. I did the designs and everything, I did the colors. So you guys might be wondering, well that's a beautiful t-shirt, Rabbit Ears Blog, where did you get it? Well, I'll tell you, I actually made this t-shirt from Teespring. So if you guys really like this t-shirt, you love the rainbow colors, the creative designs and everything, and you want to get your own t-shirt, then please feel free to go to teespring.com and get your own rainbow color TV, video game, and movie t-shirt today. So if you're a huge fan of movies, TV shows, and video games in general, you can support your love for video games, TV shows, and movies in general by getting this shirt today. Really love this t-shirt. So colorful and so beautiful to look at. Hey guys, like this video? Then please feel free to hit that like button. And also hit that subscribe button for more content about video games, movies, and TV shows from this channel. And now let's roll the credits please. <laughs>